Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome back to the channel. This is a brand new series on the channel. This is based upon the Plunger mod pack. There'll be a link in the description if you want to download this yourself and have a go. Um, yeah, it's a 1.15.2 mod pack, so lots of cool, new, fun mods in here. Um, I've got shaders on, as I tend to do these days. Um, yeah, and hopefully this will, well, this will just be staying as a video-only series. There'll be no live streams on this. I want to try and do some videos for you guys that just or can't make the live streams and don't want to miss out on anything cool or just don't get catch-ups or only get to watch two-hour-long live streams. That's not really fair to you guys. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a video-only series. Look at this. It's beautiful. I love, I love the uh, BSL shaders that I use. If you're wondering, BSL shaders, if you want to have a look at those yourself. Um, I've added Optifine in here so that we can have the shaders running. Um, but yeah, otherwise, this is exactly how you get it in the mod pack. Um, you start with some cool things. We start with the, the One Probe Read Me. That is the little thing at the top of the screen there. The grass block Minecraft shovel little bit of helpful thing. Um, I'm going to just quickly change it because I want to um, mod... Oh, I have to change this stuff. Can I Can I sneak right click? Hang on. Sneak right click. I want to change the... Um, the transparent style there you go so i've changed it from the default whaler with the black background transparent or black and white i want the transparent one there you go so now we don't see um the background on it but i can still read the items that are there that's absolutely fine i can still see what they all are without interfering too much with the game other than that we don't we don't really need that so uh goodbye um what we do have though is two things we have a blueprint package which i'll come to in a second we also have our starting house which you've seen before if you've watched my isolation craft videos um, and we need to put our house somewhere. Now, this actually isn't too bad a starting place because it's quite an open an open area. But I think it'd be nice to explore. So we'll go on a little bit of an exploration um, episode today. And maybe towards the end of the episode, that's when we'll place our um, that's when we'll place our, our house down. Just see if there's anything cool in the distance that we can look at. I haven't looked too much at the mods. I did look at it on a live stream. Um, but I didn't go too in-depth into anything. I'm hoping there's some exp cool exploration things we can do in here. But what I am thinking is we have it as quite, a, kind of quite a chilled, a kind of a chilled mod pack. Nothing too strenuous, nothing too um, difficult maybe. Unless there's some big mobs here that we don't know about yet. But I'm thinking just keep it kind of relaxed. Kind of, kind of easy. Just, just chill out and have fun. I don't really want to place our house on top of the hill. Although it would be quite cool. Um to have it to have it on the top of the hill i'm thinking we need to get some stuff so we probably should get some wood um i'd quite like it in like edge of a mount edge of a edge of a forest that might be quite cool well, tell you what, let's go down here oh look there's what's this copper ore already so we have silent mechanisms in here that's quite cool um and a site right let's head down we'll build our house i will build our house i think but before we build our house let's get some let's get some tools we're gonna get a tree chopped down um get some stuff hopefully try and get a bed i'm not sure if you can shear if you have to shear sheep, um, there's, there's just some sheep there. So we'll punch one of these sheep and just see if we can see if we can get wool from them without shearing them. So a lot of these mods recently have changed it so you can only get um, you can only get wool when you shear them and not from killing them. So we'll see. Let's have a look. Do we? Yeah, we did get wool. Okay, that's all cool then, right? So let's grab. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I know, I know it's not fair. I know it's not fair. I could shear you, but I haven't got any wool at the moment. I promise your life will not be in vain. There we go. We've got three bits of wool. Let's get some um, some, some wood. There is the vein miner on here. So we can punch, hold down the little grey grav key. And it does the whole tree in one go. Gives us some sticks as well, which is lovely. Um, so we've now got enough to make a bed um, and make some tools. There's a nice mine there. This is actually a nice little spot for our house. I'm going to have it backing onto oh there is a dungeon around here maybe we don't want to build it here. I don't want to be hearing mobs all the time. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it backing onto the um, onto this thing. We, we'll have to go down and just deal with the deal with the things that are there. I think we should. Should we? Or are we just going to have oh there, it does sound like there's a a cool it does sound like there's a, actually a cool dungeon there. We may have to go and explore. Right, we'll have our we'll have our house around here somewhere. Let's just go more in towards the forest a little bit though. Maybe sort of. Is that another cave here? Well, that's a plunge down with some iron there. Okay, this is not too bad. All right, let's try and place it. We'll try and place it here. We if we light up the cave afterwards. <laughs> this is scary. Every time I hear it, it scares me. Right, I'm going to place this blueprint here. If you haven't seen this before, you right click, 
it gives you options for houses. Now, there are new ones. There's the ranch style, which we had before, the Hobbit hole, which Hobbit style house, which I use for, for the um, Isolation Craft series, Desert, Snowy, Desert Style 2, Underwater, which is quite cool. But the basic house I'm really liking. You can configure it a little bit with stuff. You can take stuff off and you can also change the colour of your glass. I'm going to go for some green glass with a green bed. Well, we get a bed. I didn't need to kill those sheep, did I? That's annoying. We'll go for a lime bed. Right, let's have a lime, lime bed. There you go. Uh, you can't change blocks. Some houses you can change the size, make it bigger. But we'll give that a go. We'll place that right there. That was very loud in my ears. Um, but there you go, there's our house. This is our new house with our lime green bed, with our green glass. We have our mine down there, which will give us some items straight away. So we're going to quickly run down and just see what um, what items we've got in our chest. Completely forgot that the uh, that the mine, the house does give you um, does give you items straight away and a bed straight away. I'm just going to grab all this stuff out of here. I'm not going to worry too much about what's in it. Take the chest as well. Actually, no, we'll, we'll leave the chest there because we don't really need that, do we? Um, can I go quicker? I don't think I can. Come on, up the ladder quicker, please. I need some food straight away. I noticed that. The hunger's going down already. So yeah, any things you'd like me to build, any kind of cool buildings that you'd like me to add, I'm going to see what sort of um, mods we go as we go. I'm not going to delve too much into the mods today. As you can see on the map though, there's a lot, a lot of mobs. I'm going to be using um, teleportation from day one. Just going to say, yep, we're going to have teleport on there so we can go out and adventure without worrying too much. We have good storage, we can expand the storage around all the walls. It's a nice size house. I'm just for now gonna dump everything in these hero chests. Um, oh yeah, blueprints, we can show you the blueprints as well. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got some gold. We haven't got any iron though, which is a shame. Silver we've got, so that's not too bad. Right, let's just make, let's make ourselves something using our, we've got cobble, right, we can make yeah, we've got we've got a couple. Right, let's show let's show you how this works, okay? So the blueprint package you get when you start this mod pack, you will get a shovel, I believe, a shovel, a, a pickaxe, an axe, and then one offensive weapon like a sword or something like that, and it will that's randomised. Um, so let's right click what we get and let's see. I just got a basic sword, unless they've changed it. I know that you, in other mod packs you can get a random attack weapon. Let's have a look. If there's, I think there's a machete in this. Yeah, there is. So you can occasionally get this, I think. Um, which is from the Silent Gear um, mod. Uh, but yeah, this basically changes the way you make your your um, your weapons, or can change the way you make your weapons. Now, if I put this for a pickaxe, for example, in the crafting table anywhere, I put two, I think it's two sticks, and then three, I think, or is it, is it, hang on, there you go, one stick, sorry, one stick and three, and the, the blueprint, which you can use multiple times. You can also get templates, which can only be used once. They're, once. They're easier to make, but blueprints are better because you can multiple use them. Um, and with that, you can get you get little upgrades, as you can see here. It doesn't show you all the stuff, but it shows you the stuff you can get. Um, different different um, abilities on there. Stats of control. So here we go. Look, stats. Well, this pickaxe, it's got a harvest level of 1, harvest speed 4, attack damage 2, attack speed minus. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a good way of doing it. So I'm going to just grab one of them. I'm also going to grab... Uh, that I'm also going to do our sword as well. I think we need... Just two for the sword, I believe the same as normal. So there you go, look. So stone sword is attack damage four. Without the thing, it's an attack damage of, oh, it's attack damage of five. So it's actually better to use, hmm, I think attack damage of five as well. I don't know, we'll, we'll take that as well. We'll just take that for now. We'll take an ax, we'll grab an ax as well while we're here. Um, let's grab some sticks with our wood. Let's grab some wood. Dead log, can we actually make anything from Dead planks. Can you make sticks from dead planks? You can make normal sticks. That's good. Okay, right. So let's make our our axe. So I'm guessing one and two, I'm guessing. Maybe not. How do you make this that's different then? How do you make an axe? How do you make an axe using this? I would have thought it would have been... It would have been that, you would have thought, wouldn't you? Oh, no, because it's three, isn't it? Hang on. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's the same. Same recipe, isn't it? Of course it is. Um, okay, so we're going to take our axe as well. And for now, we can put these away. I'm not too fussed about a shovel. I don't think we need that at the moment. There are lots of mobs underneath us. So I'm going to stick all these blueprints away. I'll put these over here. We need some torches. We have tablet, a plant tech 2 guide. What is that? What is that? I've never seen this before. 
Oh, it's just literally a book. Crossbreeding, machines, and genetic engineering. Okay, we can come back to that. I'll put some like booklets and stuff in there. And we will tidy our chests up. Probably do that off camera. I'm not going to bore you too much with making stuff. So we have some weapons. We have some tools. And we have some gold. We can smelt. We could do all that. But we haven't yet got any coal. So we need to really... We probably need to get some charcoal so I can actually get... Um, yeah, probably get some charcoal so we can get a bit of some torches going on here. I think that would be quite... Oh, look at that. Look. Pre comes with... Does that not... What am I trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do that for. Just want to take some out for torches, don't I? I don't know what I was trying to cook wood for. Right, I'll put that back. Grab some torches. Let's quickly make you into torches. But as I say, I want you guys to come and give me ideas for this. What you'd like me to make. What sort of settlement you'd like me to have. I'd like it to be some kind of little little community settlement. I think that would be quite cool. Um, it is getting night time. It's 10.30 at night. You do get a little farm on here, which we will expand. I'll put some more dirt down and make the farm bigger. You've got water in there already. We are going to need to go down into this mine and have a look-see. But I think what we'll do first is have a little snooze. Oh, I can't sleep because there's monsters nearby. Right, what we'll do, we'll put you into the inventory, uh, into the offhand, and we'll go down into our little mine. Um, and actually, let's take, let's take one um, out, and we'll put the rest in there so I can place some. As well as, um, as well as have light all the time when I'm not placing. So literally, there is none here, but there must be some underneath the house or something. They're kind of this way, I think. They sound like they're this way. Let's have a little look. See, I mean, we mm, we could go down into our mine and do it, couldn't we? There might be a safer option. What I also might do is take a get a hammer. I just put some torches down around here for now just to light up the area immediately because otherwise we're going to have things spawning right on the doorstep look at the moon the way the shine the moon shines is beautiful i've also turned on in the shader pack options round sun and moon which does give you a lot of extra that just makes it a little bit more realistic doesn't it it's quite nice right for um a couple more here there we go that'll do for now Gives us a bit of light around the base. We've got two torches left. I'm sure I like the idea of having a pressure plate on the outside. Um, mobs and all that. <laughs> Definitely not a good idea. Right, we'll go down. Let's make. Let's have a look at hammers. Are there hammers in here? There are some hammers. Are they going to work as... I'm guessing they do work. There's a gold hammer. We can make a gold one um, while we have our gold, just for now. Just to give us a quicker... A quicker mining ability. Um, let's smelt up. Or can you make silver? Iron. Oh, there's a stone hammer. Let's just make a stone hammer. Recipe is three and two. But you have to make from smooth stone only, do you? Just smooth stone. Normal stone. Smelted. Okay, so we've got to do double smelt. Um, double, double smelt. So let's grab some cobble then. Um, that will do. Hang on, what's, was that? And that was andesite, wasn't it? So we're going to cook up this, and then we'll recook. Take it into the other furnace, and we'll recook it, and we'll get us some smooth stone. Um, I'm going to try and keep these episodes fairly short as well. Um, obviously, all my live streams are massively long, sort of between an hour and a half to two, two and a half hours. And I know that you guys, a lot of you don't watch, can't watch them all. You've got a lot of videos you like from lots, all of your favourite YouTubers, and you don't be sitting there for two hours watching me faffle on for about about nothing so the plan will be for you guys to i need to don't i actually um will be that i'll keep these fairly short oh, there's no coal in that one right let's just grab half that coal out put it in there um yeah that'll be the plan just to keep these fairly short 20 25 minutes um and then yeah and then we could just grow this series together you can keep, give me feedback more often quicker um yeah and that'll be that'll be what i want to do and um, how does this hammer work blueprint which is just paper and die so that's a little bit away yet we can make a template using sticks though and a hammer that might be better to make a hammer out of that perhaps should we make a should we make a quick um should we make a quick template for a hammer let's do it let's do it right we need some logs we need to get some more planks rather let's grab you there we go and then we can make thing is out of that we need a couple of them and then we need a stick which we should have some sticks still if we haven't already i can make some more uh let's make some more sticks quickly there we go just a couple perfect 
let's make our blueprint which was just that wasn't it with a stick at the bottom there you go a hammer hammer template sorry not blueprint only can be used once um, and then we can put that in there and I'll see how this works differently see if it works differently let's just grab our thing out of there let's try that again um, blueprint so what is the recipe for this then how do you use it how is the recipe I don't know we'll find out we'll find out we'll find out where have you where have you where have you gone there uh, so sticks maybe with with our smooth stone is it two with three maybe or maybe you just use maybe you just use normal cobble for this maybe you just use normal cobble for this hammer I bet you I've used all my cobble now and can I use stone is there any problem with these um because that's kind of like a hmm what is the recipe for a hammer? Um, is this this is this is silent gear and this isn't silent gear. So how do you make a silent gear hammer? I wonder. I wonder what the silent gear hammer recipe is. Crafting. Oh, hello, mouse. Come on. Um, oh, you have to make that. Oh, okay, right. That makes sense then. So you use you use you use six plus one stick. Okay. Can I use can I use stone for it? One stick. Oh my god, where's the <laughs> keeps vanishing out of the inventory? Right, let's try let's try that. So you can't use stone. So I'm gonna go and need to get some more room in. Some more um thingy, aren't I? Some co cobble quickly. Let's go and grab some cobble. Um where can we oh we had some cobble here, didn't we? Is there cobble near here? Near my little no, Oh hello there. Hello you Go away, you stay there. You stay there, mister. Got a double hit in the end. There we go, perfect. Right, saved your life there. Saved your life, mister. Ah, cow, that made me jump. Blimey. <laughs> made me jump. Right, let's just let's just aim to get the hammer made. Right, let's just quickly go down into the um, to our little hole, hidey hole here. We can get some cobble from here. Um, if there's some stone we can use. Why is there no stone? Of course there's not. Of course there's not. That would just be too easy, wouldn't it? This is all, all andesite. Now, is the well generation different in here? I think it might be. I think we, I think we discussed this when we did the little live stream that the well gen doesn't give you as much cobble. I think we could just go do, just go down into the mine. That'd be the better option. There's about to be cobble down at that level, isn't there? It's going to be cobble down at that level. Let's quickly go down into the mine. Quickly grab some. I could dig it off of the side here, but we'll go to the bottom and do it. Very conscious of the time, people. Going to stick to my 20 to 25 per episode. Um, right, let's just dig out all nine of these. This will do. Because I want to keep the I want to keep the uh, want to keep the, the three by three tunnel thing. There's some other stuff there we can, we can make, but that's fine. Let's quickly try and make one out of um, out of this cobble. If it works, hopefully it does. Then we can start digging. Try and find where these zombies and monsters are coming from. Bet there's a dungeon somewhere because there's a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of them underneath me, isn't there? Look, a lot of them underneath me. Also need to eat because I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Um, right, come on, here we go. Here we go. Ouch! What was that? It just got me. It just got me then. That was that was strange. Um, right, let's try and do this then. So we need six, and that's the hammer head. You can use different sticks for the for the for the actual um, rods. So I don't know what other ones you can use. I think you can. I know you can use blaze rods. No, that's the thing. Right, let's just stick all. Oh no, not in that chest. Let's just stick all of this in this chest for now. Um, I need to cook up our food because we need some. So before we go too much further, what also? What, what was that? A bezoar. I'm not sure what that, that is. A cave root. That's quite cool. We have an arcane crystal. We will look into the mods. Don't you worry. Before the next episode, I can't. I can't rest. So um, while that's cooking, let's quickly go down and have a look at the might at this um, hammer. See how it works. I wonder what got me through the wall. Something grabbed me. It was a zombie arm. Came through. <laughs> came through the wall and just grabbed me. Now which way am I facing? I'm facing away. 
So that's the way I need to go for the mobs by the look of it. Um, but that's wider. So we'll go this way for now as it's three by three. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. What's the usage on it? We have 242. So it's using 10 each time. 9 or 10 each time, isn't it? Obviously, it's breaking 9 items. But it's a quick old... It's a quick old way of breaking stuff, which is lovely. Quick mining. We're getting lots of good ores. Torch is giving us some lovely light. This is the way we want to go, though, to get to the mobs. I don't know if I want to be opening up the mobs just yet. What are you? You're Osmium. Can I ore you? I can. That's good. But the hammer doesn't work with it. Doesn't work with redstone either. And obviously, that's not going to work because that's the, that needs that needs a different um, pickaxe. Once we get iron, we'll be good with that. There's some iron. Beautiful. Right, let's quickly vein mine you. Um, there we go. We've got a bit now. There's more osmium. I can get the osmium. Right, there you go. Right, who's going to put the joke? That joke in the chat then, because you know in the comments, you know you are the joke. The Osmium joke. Who is going to stick it in there? Let's go back up. We've got some iron. We can smelt now. We can get some food. We can eat. We can dump away some stuff. I will start to sort out the chests in the next coming the coming episodes. I'm going to have a look at the mods as well. See what mods we've got in here. Because if there's some cool mods we can use for storage, you know I'm going to be about that. I'm all going to be all about that. Um, yeah, it's good. You also know that I like mountainside houses. And we're now using a proper house, which is, which is terrifying, really. It's daytime again, which is lovely. Um, right, let's see what we've got in terms of um, iron. What have we got? We've got six bits of iron. That's nice. That's a nice start. We can make a new hammer. We can make some new tools. We can make some armor. What have we got then? We've got some prosperity shards. We've got some osmium, andesite, some inferium essence, some sapphires. Lovely. Uh, Teslatite, which is, I don't know what it does. Some more cobble and some more andesite. Lots of andesite. That's cool. Right, we'll dump all this stuff off for now. We're going to eat some food because... We need some food. We also need to get some coal. Um, so we've got some more torches. There you go. Look, we're fully regened. All looking good. And we are going to say goodbye for this very first episode. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me all this time. If you're a new subscriber, click subscribe. If you're a new viewer, rather, click subscribe and let me know that you enjoy my content. If you're an old viewer that's come back and has unsubscribed, maybe you'll consider subscribing again. Either way, please hit that like button if you enjoy. And I will see you soon for another episode of this as yet unnamed series. See you later guys. Bye bye.